All right, in this video, you're going to see what happened in the last apartment that we bounced from. So the power is out. Today is 9.35 in the morning. What day is it? Thursday, the 12th of November. Can't really see that. But anyway, this is the living room. The living room was already done. There's no cash power, so it can't take lights. This is the thing that was brought to my home as kitchen cabinets. This is, I guess, another kitchen cabinet. I don't know. I don't know. That was bought to the home. So, I don't know. This is supposed to be moving ready. This part was just done a day ago. Here's the outdoor patio. Still not done. It's supposed to be all done. Still not done. But that's not my clothes. That's the worker's clothes. This is my wonderful apartment that they claim. This is supposed to be a washing machine supposed to fit here. How can a washing machine fit there from my elbow to my wrist? Okay. Now we're gonna go into the master bedroom. So I remember the pile of dirt, so they did get that up. And they've, oh, they still, they still have to hook up these. I don't know. But they said this apartment has been done a long time ago. Is that, is that how you finish them? Put the light on my camera. This is supposed to be done. So, is this supposed to be like this? Is this supposed to be like this? They said it was moving ready. The property manager told my friend that the apartment has been done. Look, the apartment has been done forever. It's me that's the hold up. I don't know how. How is that? The window was supposed to, the windows are supposed to go right here. Supposed to be a window here and a window here. It ended up being here to, to view a wall on the outside. So anyway, again, this is the master bedroom. Immediately we moved in on the 21st. Here's the bathroom. Immediately we moved in and tried to make this a home, but that was not possible. So my daughter and myself were sleeping on this mattress on the floor, hoping everything would get together so we could buy furniture and buy our stuff and bring it in. But as you can see in the other pictures, there was a mess in here. This wasn't even there. They were building that. It was supposed to take one week and it took much longer. The beautiful cabinets they showed me pictures of that was supposed to go right here, they were sold out, so I ended up with this. 
um, I guess a dresser, a children's dress, like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know why that's here. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna work on this mess, get this out, get my broom, and just go, because they claim that this stuff has been done forever. That's not true. It's not done forever. And they claim that I am the reason why they even did the second bathroom. That's not true. The reason why you did the second bathroom was because they couldn't get it rented out with it as a two bedroom, one bath. So it was on the market for too long. And the original plans, let me see if I can do that. The original plans, oh my man. The original plans, guys, was with this. But I guess they got lazy or whatever. They ran out of money. I don't know. But um, they just stopped. And then they started showing the apartment as a two-bedroom, one-bath. But they were listing it as a two-bedroom, two-bath. So that's why I said, after taking the full tour of this apartment, where is the second bathroom? And the guy, like I said in the earlier videos, I can't make this up. He says, oh, you want a second bathroom? You want a bathroom? And I was like, that's what it says. It says two bedroom, two bad. Like what? I wouldn't even come to see this apartment. And they charged me 300 dollars just to view the apartment. So I think I would not have paid or come to do this if it said two bedroom, one bath. So now the owner, the property agent, and the, the uh, property manager, and the agent all claim I'm lying. And that's why they're trying to keep 10% of my money. So I have a witness of everything, and if we have to go to the police, we will go to the police. Simple as that. But at the end of the day, I still love Gambia. Life is good. Um, I'm happy to be here, and God is blessing me every single day. Just know that God is blessing us, Shelby and I, every single day that we're here. Yes, y'all, so I'm going to go do what I got to do so I can get up out of here and I need to get my money back. They don't know when they're going to give me my money back. I'm kind of crazy and I was like, what? What do you mean I don't know when they're going to give me my money back? All right, y'all, peace. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I'm going to make an in-depth video when all this is all said and done when I get my monies. I got a lot of seed in my hand. I'll break down everything in some of the following videos. Everything I'll break down about what not to do for you. Uh, I also wanted to um, show y'all, because I'm going to paste that, and I'm going to post the ad that was on Facebook and show you what it looked like. But this is what it looked like. took over my brain and told them, they, they, they said they want to marry me, they love me, well, they do do that, ladies, they do that all the time, but for real, they said that, they told me, they influenced me to leave out of this apartment, this is what the owner said to me, they influenced me to leave out of this apartment, they told me to get out of there, this is what she said, this is why I'm leaving, which is not true, no one, no one ever told me to leave out of here. I'm grown. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. This ain't the first time I live somewhere different from my hometown, which is Philly, where I born and raised. Like, come on now. Like, I wasn't going yesterday. Like, if you know anything about people from Philly, we don't, we don't, anyway. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, somebody basically took over me, 
told me what to do, told me I have to live here, I have to live in this area, I live in this apartment, and now I'm going to get married to a local gay man, and he's going to use, he's using me to get his green card. And yes, she's a gay man. So I was like, nah, sir, but not, not do that. What did do that? Not here, not for me. I know what I want. And if I marry you, I marry you because I love you. I'm not marrying you to help you with your baby journey because this is just not bad in America. No many people I had known that needed their papers in America. My first love needed his papers. And yes, I would have done it for him. But it didn't work out that way. So at the end of the day, don't worry about why I'm breaking a lease or nothing like that. When you didn't hold up your end of the bargain, you said apartment will be ready in another week after move in. I'm like, cool. We live in that little room. And then it took another two weeks or whatever. It's still taking time. It's still not ready. It's still not based on the terms. And I paid all my money. I paid for six months and the deposit. So, what's good? So my friend is coming right now. I'm waiting. He's my witness. He signed the lease as a witness. He understands what's going on. And they lied to him and told him all kind of stuff and said, yeah, no one told her two bathrooms. No one told her this. We accommodated her. That's why we're taking this money out of her money. The devil is a liar. Okay? But anyway, remember, rate, comment, subscribe, share, share, share. Come to the Gambia. Link up with me. Stay positive, stay beautiful. Things happen everywhere in the world, but I have met the most beautiful people in this country. There are a few bad apples, such as life, but I'm loving it here. When I tell you I'm loving it here, I'm loving it here, loving it, I'm loving it. <laughs> so this experience I had to go through um, basically to help somebody else. Everything you do is not for you. It has nothing to do with you, actually. It's just to help somebody else. So. I thank everybody to come before me. I thank my ancestors. I thank God. I thank my mom. I thank everybody that, um, you know, is here in some way, shape, or form to support me. And I love you guys, and I'm here to support you. You're coming back to the motherland. You're coming to Gambia. You need help. Reach out to me. Um, I don't have fees or nothing for my help yet because I'm not organizing that way yet because I'm still trying to get my life organized. But we do accept donations at Cash App, which is the money sign. Dia, D-I-A, 215 Art. So it's Dia 215 Art with the money sign in the front. You can see that on my YouTube, my Facebook, my Instagram, everywhere. So, yeah, we do need money. <laughs> oh, we haven't made any money since we've been in Africa because I haven't been settled and I'm doing my other stuff. And I, I just, you know, I barely keep up with this YouTube channel. I'm trying to do my best because of the inconsistency. We've moved seven times technically since we've been in the Gambia. Seven different times I had to ask people to help move me, get taxes, get trucks, get whatever. Move it, move it, move it. We're not settled. My daughter broke out fresh, whatever, uh, allergic, whatever. I don't know. She needs to be settled. So we're getting settled down. And they're just trying to hold us back and trying to keep our money. This devil is a liar. So anyway, I'm going to keep you posted, give you a tour of the new home. It's beautiful. See y'all later. Yeah, just wanted to show y'all the back, how the back isn't done. It's supposed to be pretty back here so I can enjoy myself and barbecue, hang up clothes. I have to pay my good earned money. It still is like this. This is what they leave here for moving day. This is my kit. This was the kitchen. This is the back door. Bedroom. Can't see in the bathroom because the window that was supposed to be right there isn't. So I'm supposed to come and only be able to sit right here. And then this is my view a wall. And then this because they have not even tried to clean this up. But they claim it's been done forever. And these people just sleeping outside my door.
Okay, y'all, so leaving this place, never, ever coming back, took all of my stuff, and I'm out. So, as y'all know, if you're watching this video, I never went back to this place, period. All right, y'all, as you can see, this clip, I'm actually at the current place, and I just wanted to, you know show you the rooftop patio because I was like no matter where I live it's, it's gonna have a rooftop patio that was one of my um inner requirements you know what I mean but uh I, I love this spot right here so we have so much space up here as you can see we have that water tank um and it's just really nice and it's just so peaceful and you could just come up here I wish the walls were higher so we can have total, total privacy, but you know, that will come in due time. But basically y'all just speak it into existence. As you can see in the last video, um, that was done a few months ago, I had to get out of that place. That was, I think, um, the sixth or seventh time, though no, that was the seventh time we moved. I think this might be our eighth place. I got to recount cause it's been so many darn moves. But this is the spot that we've been in the longest and we've moved in and you've seen from our current lives and all that. This is where we live at now. So you've already kind of seen a tour live. We're going to do another tour as we start to get the furniture together and things like that. But stick with me, y'all. Stick with me.